knowing that the first thing we need to do, because the first one, we're going to move a dart to help us. Then I'm going to be using the female sloper. I'm gonna be using the sloper with the dart on the bust line. And I know I want to end the princess line up here in the shoulder. So the very first thing that I need to do is I need to move the dart to the shoulder. Now you did that with number six, use the slash method and you move the dart to the shoulder. So what if we do the pivot method now to move the dart to the shoulder so that we don't have to slash it first and then put on a princess line. In order to do that, I'm gonna make a mark halfway in the shoulder on my sloper, not on my paper. I'm gonna trace the shoulder down the neck, down the center front, all the way to the fold line of this bottom dart. I'm gonna make sure I know where my bust line is because that's gonna be important for me later. Okay, I'm gonna stop on that dart. I am going to pivot this dart shut. You see what I did? Pivot it shut. And I'm gonna finish tracing to the bottom of this dart. So when I get to the bottom of the bus dart, I'm gonna stop. Then I'm gonna pivot the bus dart shut. It does have me pivot, right? Crap nuggets. I told you wrong already. <laughs>